We're not talking about like a family photo here. We're talking about like a guy's legacy. Like he's a human being, not just like a picture to put on a wall, right? So I want to be able to capture like what a human being is. That's like not just all the happy times of like a governorship. I, I would have to believe that if you're the governor, you walk away from that job thinking, reality is so much more complex than what I could ever imagine. And making decisions on this level is so much more difficult because it affects everybody, right? And how does that portrait capture that? Like, how does the portrait say that I am completely aware of how complex the decisions I was making are? That just seems amazing to me, and I, I get kind of goosebumps thinking about that. Other types of paintings I think I would get bored with, but there's something about the portrait and having to capture a likeness, having to create an image that is timeless, that sort of speaks to something bigger than just the likeness of a person, something that speaks to their legacy, speaks to who they were as a person, not just what they look like. And I love the challenge of trying to accomplish that. I want to show that he's a genuine person who really cares for Michigan. I think that will outlast any of the specifics of his, of his policies that he put in place. Like every governor puts policies in place. I want to present him as a real person who was good to people and had good intentions. What makes me a good choice to paint Governor Snyder's portrait is that I bring a wide range of skills and techniques to painting. I can paint in the Renaissance style all the way up to contemporary, meaning that I can add abstraction, impressionism, and realism where most artists can't. Because I work in the building, I know what stands out, I know what works, I know how to make a portrait that will be at the forefront of all the other portraits. My name is Joshua Adam Reisner, and I would be honored to paint Governor Snyder's portrait.